what is going on guys welcome back to another fishing with separate video today we are fishing this ginormous river here we have the possibility of catching brook brown and rainbow trout they just stalked this last week so there should be a good chance we catch a trout here this hole right through here is super deep so i think we're gonna have some luck here today we have our catch and cook stuff in the bag so we're gonna be doing a catch and cook to catch something there's a limit of two here at this spot but it's really deep through here so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna get tied on and we're gonna cast out and see what kind of luck we can get let's turn these trout one up there's fish on boys fish on boys so let's go ahead let's take that off just look at how amazing that trout looks i mean it doesn't get much better than this i mean it's just falling right off the hook all right so usually at a river like this i start with a spinner but today we're gonna be doing some power bait. We're just gonna make a little trout nugget for these trout through here. I'm not gonna do nothing too big, but since the water isn't the clearest, I wanna make something that they can smell. And it's really deep through here and I'm not sure how exactly deep it is. And I really don't wanna guess, but <clears throat> we're gonna do it without a bobber to start out with. And if we can't indicate when we're getting hit or not, we'll switch over to a bobber. But we're just gonna start out with two split shots. Put this little nugget on this hook, form it into a ball like so. Just put it right on your hook. And they do stalk trophy trout through here as well. So we do have a possibility of catching a trophy trout. All right, first cast of the day. Let's get right on out there. That wind is blowing today. It is cold as well. The water is carrying this pretty quick as well. I think I'm gonna put a bobber on. I wanna be able to cast further out. All right, so I'm just gonna guess for depth. I'll put it right up on here. Man, I should have brought a jacket. That or a sweatshirt or something. I mean, it is cold. It doesn't help that the sun is covered by clouds right now. That'd give us a little bit more heat. Ah, oh, there's that sun. Man, you can get in a better spot to cast this out. Reel that back in. I think we might have lost our bait. Yeah, we did. All right, we're just gonna go to the power bait original. They already have the nuggets formed on here, so. We'll see if the original does us any good. Oh my god, the wind is just taking every cast. It's just ridiculous. If we lose this power bait, I think I'm gonna try to find a worm. This bank looks like there's plenty of worms in it, so we'll see if they want the power bait, and then if not, we'll switch over to a worm. Alrighty, so I decided to tie on a MEPS. Because the maps will get down there deeper. I'm going to let it sink kind of in the middle before slow retrieving it in. If that sun stays out, we should get a little bit of extra action in the water too. Only thing is I can't cast it very far, sadly. But if the trout are just sitting deep, then hopefully they'll see this. Oh, I just saw a trout. Oh, there's multiple. There's multiple, multiple trout that I just saw go after that. Oh my god. Okay. All right. I think we're going to have luck with this here. I just saw multiple trout go after it. I, I saw legit three trout. They came right up to the bank. So I need to get back cast where I was. Let it sink again. We're going to do the same thing. I think this is going to be what's going to help us out here, boys. Alright, let's do this again. Slow retrieving. Gotta kind of cast it up because the water, when it's sinking, is just kind of taking it down. I can't believe that. I literally saw them come right up to the bank. We're going to keep casting this this maps for a while. And if we don't get any luck with the maps, we'll switch to a rooster tail. Because it could be something slight as in colorway that could deter these trout from one up. There's fish on, boys. Fish on, boys. There we go. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. 
get him up on the bank. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. There we go. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful trout. Nice, okay. What a beautiful rainbow trout. Let's go ahead. Let's get him unhooked. We're gonna bonk him out first. I wanna put him out of his misery before anything else. All right, let's go ahead and just give him a little bonk. Got that all off, let's go ahead. Let's wash him off so we can take a better look at him here. There we go, guys. What a beautiful rainbow trout, perfect eating size. I'm assuming, I'm assuming this is a fresh stock, but what an absolute beautiful trout. I would say that this is probably about 13 inches or so. You can see the damage on the fins most likely from being stocked so what a beautiful trout guys we're gonna go ahead we're gonna gut this out now and then we're gonna continue fishing but we're gonna cook this right up by the truck we got our stove with us man what a beautiful trout all righty we got our knife all we're gonna do to clean this trout up let me try to get somewhere that's a little bit easier by the water here so what we're gonna do, you wanna cut in through the anus. Be careful not to cut any of the guts. Let's go ahead, let's get down by the water. I need to, actually, put this over right up here. We're gonna use this as our little table to take care of this trout. So you wanna make sure your knife isn't going in too far to not cut the stomach contents there we go fillet all the way up just like so I like to go just right behind the fin here for this size trout cut straight down through just cut straight down through there we're just gonna flip him over just to finish the cut let's finish getting the head off so with the head with a trout this size i like to take these home to my dogs and freeze them up and they love those as a treat so we're going to wash this off we're going to bring that with us up to the truck when we go to catch this fish up let's wash that off real quick get all that dirt and stuff off and then what i do guys i just throw it right in there just for the wildlife to eat it up there's plenty of crawdads in here and then all you want to do is just take your fingernail and just get the kidney right out of there. Under the water, we'll wash this trout out real quick. All right, there we go. We have ourselves a trout ready to eat. The mink, the meat is actually not too white. It has a little bit of pink to it, which isn't bad for being a stock trout. But what a beautiful trout. We'll go ahead, we'll set this over by our bag. We're gonna fish a little bit longer, hopes that maybe we can get another trout. But we have a trout to eat for lunch, which is amazing. It's so cool to come out here and just catch your own food. It just kind of brings us back to our roots. Let's go ahead, let's get back out there. I know there's a bunch more trout in here because I saw a bunch of them come up and take this earlier so let's hope that maybe we can get a second we can keep two trout out of here so we can be picky of which one we want to choose next surprisingly enough when he bit that he actually bit it pretty close to the shore it wasn't like it was out in that deep part really it could also be that he followed it in for quite a ways all right so what we're gonna do i casted there a couple of times and we might have disturbed the water through there, but I'm going to cast kind of down a little bit. Try a different spot. On that cast, I really didn't let it sink down much. So I'm going to let this one sink. I think that's the only way these trout were able to see it was that I was letting it sink. They got a glimpse and they were kind of just following it in. All right, we're gonna head back over to this side. I'm 
gonna go to the edge of this bank over where this dead turkey is. One thing I wish, I wish that sun would come back up. We might take a break from fishing just to go, you know, cook that trout up just while the sun is gone because I think the sun also helped us in catching these trout as well. All right, we're gonna take a, a quick break from fishing. I think we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go cook up our trout, have ourselves a little lunch, and then we'll come back and see if we can get any more luck. Maybe something to take home, but I'm gonna clean my knife off real quick so we can score this trout before we put it in the pan. But let's pack our bag up, let's get up there, let's cook this trout. Alrighty, so we got our cooked stuff all set up. I noticed that the fish was a little bit too big for my pan, so we're gonna have to cut it in half. But we got everything to have ourselves a great lunch here, right by the riverside. And once we're done eating, we're gonna go take a couple more casts, see if we can get a little bit more luck. But let's go ahead, let's cook this trout up. So what we're gonna do is I'm probably gonna cut the meat in half, probably around here. I'm just gonna cut right down the back. Let's see right through the bones. go we got ourselves two lovely pieces of trout let's go ahead let's fire up our stove there we go guys our stove all fired up let's get ourselves some oil in the pan brand new bottle of extra virgin olive oil Put some of that oil right in that pan we're gonna let that oil heat up a bit, and while that's heating up, we'll score our trout and get some seasoning up on there. Let's get our oil moving around here first. Oh yeah, that's doing great. All right, so I'm just gonna put a couple scores on the meat. This helps us so it doesn't curl. And what we're gonna do, we got our Kinder's Buttery Steakhouse Seasoning. So we're, not, we're gonna be pretty generous with this here. We're gonna pretty much coat this trout. Get some on the inside. And the other side is our first fillet. I'll pat it down on there. Test our heat. I think we're almost about ready to throw this on. Right, let's go ahead and throw this first fillet in. Oh yeah, our oil is definitely ready. Let's go ahead and get this other one. I'll coat it up with our seasoning. Get some on that tail too. The tail is actually really delicious too when you cook it up and it gets nice and crispy, just like a potato chip. Make sure to get that oil around there. We don't want our fish to stick. Oh yeah, this is awesome, guys. You can't ask for a better day, honestly. Other than the wind and the sun going away, what a beautiful day out. We got a lovely trout right on the riverside, We're cooking it up right out in nature. Look at how beautiful that meat is too. It's absolutely gorgeous. This trout smells so good. I'm actually so hungry right now. Just look at how golden brown that skin is as well. We just gotta make sure that we don't burn that. Meat looks like it's gonna be done here pretty soon. This tail piece will most definitely be done before the rest of it. We might need a little bit more oil in there. What we're gonna do too, when this is done cooking, we're just gonna go back down to the river and we're just gonna eat it right by the river. We'll give the bones back to nature. I think our tail piece is just about done. Our big piece still has a little bit longer to go. So I'm just gonna keep this part right out of the oil and let the big piece cook in that oil for just a little bit longer. We're just gonna pick up after ourselves here. Get everything else situated back in our bag. So let's go ahead, let's take that off. Cut our stove off here. Now we just gotta let our true out cool down. All right, we made it back down to the riverfront here. We got our trout. Just look at how amazing that trout looks. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. I mean, it's just falling right off the bone. It might still be a little hot, but I just can't resist any longer. Oh man. That is actually really good trout. And good crisp on that skin too. I mean, the bones are just falling right off the meat. 
that seasoning is actually really good on trout too. I've been using that seasoning for a while on just like chicken and stuff. But there was a picture of a fish on there. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take that out with me for the catch and cook. And we'll see how good it is. We definitely have to come back to this spot. I mean, I saw a lot of trout in here. And we still have a probability of catching another one. You know, when we come down here after eating, finish eating this trout. But I definitely saw a couple more. I had some follow uh, the MEPS Rainbow Trout Spinner. If you guys haven't used one of those, I definitely recommend it for water that's just like this, where it's really deep. And that's what we did. We just let it sink, and then we slow retrieved it back. And that's how we caught this guy here. But we're definitely going to come back to this spot. There's a bunch of other spots along this river. This is the biggest river that we have in my state. So there's plenty of spots that we can go to on this river and where we can just catch absolutely beautiful trout. So if any of you are wondering how we find spots like this, what I do, I just go right on Google Maps and I do the terrain setting and I just kind of look for any water body that flows anywhere. And what I do is I just follow the roads that go right along the riverfront. And I just look for, sometimes I just look for pull-offs or I look for somewhere where I could pull off. And then what I do is when I'm driving by these areas, <clears throat> I'll just stop by and I'll just drive by these spots, check it out and make sure it's somewhere that we could actually go to. And I've been scouting this spot out for quite a while. And uh, today's the first time I'm fishing it. And we got lucky. So, I mean, definitely a spot we have to keep on our radar. There is trophy trout in this river and there's a lot of them brown trout rainbow trout so i mean we definitely got to come back try to catch a trophy but for now let's just enjoy this trout i'm gonna finish eating it and when i'm done we're gonna cast back out and fish but i'll catch you guys then I think fishing is all done for today. Sadly, we only caught one, but it was still a great time out here. The wind was working against us, but we still prevailed. But what a great time still. All right, we are back at the truck. I wanted to film the outro in here because the wind was picking up even more outside. So I wanted to have good audio in here. But I want to thank you guys for staying to the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy and you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And please make sure to share as well, guys. But anyways, this is Fishing with Sepper. We'll catch you next week.